Welcome, this is Magic Dad 76 bringing you to an indie game review. This game is titled Desktop Dungeons. I've been trying it out for a little while and I think it's a pretty fun game. I, you get to, it's basically a role playing game. I haven't done, gone very far in it. There's a bunch of locked classes uh, and locked races, a whole ton of locked classes. And there's a bunch of locked levels, so uh, basically what you do, you have to choose a race. I might go with Dwarf this time, a Dwarf Fighter, and I only got the one. I have Tutorial level or Normal level. I've already done the tu Tutorial, so let's do the Normal one. Oh, that w mistakes ha were made. Mistakes were gravely made. <laughs> Torog, let's see here. There we are. Undid the mistake. Pendant of health, mm, not really. I would rather have a nice shiny sword, personally. Okay, wow. Nope, no, no, no. So you have to l search around the dungeons. If you notice, uh, each of these monsters has a level or a number on it. That's their level. Uh, right now, I'm level one, they're level two. Level twos will definitely tra uh, trash me hard. I won't even consider that level 7 one. Ah. Health potion. No. Because I got one right there. You find health potions. Oh, God, no. Okay. So now I'm in a dilemma. I am probably going to die here. Wow, I didn't. Okay, well, how much uh, I have? 18. I can get Fury. I really would like to get uh, the Penetration. I need to get 50 for that. Okay. So we'll leave here. We're level 3 now. Still can't really. Oh, Jeepers, mistake. Big mistake. But fortunately, we had that that potion. And every time you uh, un or you display a block of the dungeon. Oh uh, well, I am dead now. There's no way for me to get out. Every time you display, oh, yep. And this is what happens when you get, you get, uh, uh, hey, I did use health potions. Oh, well. Every time you, uh, get locked, or, oh, bin lore, iron shield. We'll go with this one. I want to get to level 80. Okay. I'm not ready to take him on yet. Him I will. So, overall this game is kind of fun. It's roguelike. Uh, which I, when I was in college, I loved rogue. I played that game for hours and well I hate to say it but I think uh, Rogue might have caused me more grief than I really needed but it was well worth it it was a fun game good memories okay I got 10 
Do I have any? Oh, there's a level two monster right there, and I derped up. Oh. Okay. Any other level twos? No. No mistakes. Mistakes made. Not good. What does the pack maker do? Eh. The extra experience per kill would have been nice, but oh well. Pen in the mana. I like to get the sword. There's a sword that they give. Oh, what's this? I will use that to help me level up. I lost one piety for that. Oh, no. No, no, no. That that is our major uh major foe. He's the head boss. And he's not one that I want to really play with right now. Another 10 another level. Level 9s, I'm not really... The first time I played this game, I actually did get to level 9. Can I? Oh, yes. Wow, I didn't expect that. Okay, now I'm rocking this. Four. I see another level four. Okay, we're thirty nine. That I don't want to fight. Are there any health potions around? No, there are not. Oh, yes, there is. Right there. Okay, let's see if I can slip by. Level 70. Let's see if I can get some more. Uh, there's another level 5 guy, so I'll go deal with him right now. Ow, that hurt a lot. Which one, uh... Will increase my health right away? I hope so. It did not. Lovely. Uh, no, no, I don't need to pen in the mana. Healing potion I do want. Oh, that's how we use it. I've never actually used that before. Oops. Okay. So 60, how many... I th do I have any other level 5? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, dang nabbit. Let's see here. There we are. Let's go beat this guy up. Or are there... Oh, there's a level 6. I'll go play with the level 6 for now. 
our goal is to beat the dungeon boss. So, okay. Let's get Oh, what one do I want? What does mining give me? Oh, I want heroics, so uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be take hardiness and mining. So I'm level 7. Let's find some level 7s to beat up, like you. Well, I lost a little bit. Oh! Are there any other level 7s around? Yes, there is. One of the Super Meat Boy ones. Or, sorry, Super Meat Man. Why won't you let me go? <coughs> there. Sometimes it doesn't want to do the diagonals for me. I don't know why. <sighs> Any other? No, there isn't. Haha, <laughs> level 8, what's this one? Turns one enemy into stone. Ooh. That might be the way to beat the boss. Okay, another level eight, three. Let's go over here and, okay. Okay, this. Let's see if this will work. No, it didn't. Okay. I'm now level 9, but I lost my 1. Okay. Next hit will be save. Next hit will be death. Let's see here. Let's hopefully... Oh! Well, I have petrified at least one monster, used the monster summon glyph at least once, didn't consume any mana potions, fully uncovered 95% of the dungeon grid blocks, earned at least 50 piety from the gods, and I killed a bunch of monsters. So, unfortunately I didn't sur survive that, but it's a fun game as you can tell. And oh. So I will put a, uh, a link in the description for the free version of Desktop Dungeons. I've really enjoyed it. It's a game that I would recommend for anybody that uh, is familiar to, with the rogue style games. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time when I review another indie game. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.